thank you for this day. We thank you, Jehovah, for enabling us to be in the sanctuary this morning. We do not take anything for granted. Jehovah, we thank you, O oh God, uh, for gathering us this morning. Abba Father, I pray, O oh God, that may you nourish and may you feed our expectant hearts, O oh Jehovah. If there is any one of us, O oh God, who has come with a hard heart, Jehovah, soften it so that they can be able to receive from you. We commit to oh Jehovah all the activities that are going to happen in this first and second service into your able hands. Jehovah, may you take full control and full charge of oh God, my Father. May you minister to us, O oh God. May we not live uh, this sanctuary the same way as we came in, Jehovah. Be glorified, be worshipped, be magnified, O oh God, for there is none like you, O oh God. Indeed, there is none like you in our lives. There is none like you, Abba Father. Take full control, O oh Jehovah of our lives, take full control, Jehovah, of our needs, take full control, Jehovah, of our families, O oh God, take full control, Jehovah, of our nation, take full control, Jehovah, of our church, and everything, O oh Jehovah. My Father, may you remind us to put our trust in you, Jehovah. As some trust in horses and chariots, I pray, Jehovah, that this morning and for the rest of our lives, that you shall remind us to trust in you, for you are uh, Indeed, our God, you are our Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Elohim. Abba Father, this is our humble prayer that we believe and trust in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, you 
hope you're feeling warm this morning. Even as we want to just see the last worship, I pray that it will minister to you because you meditate upon the words that are in this song. Indeed, you're glorious, you're beautiful. You're excellent. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. Now 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we are grateful and we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to assemble in your presence, to open our hearts to you and our minds to you, O Lord. We thank you for this opportunity because we know this award that you have for us and you are not living the same way we have come. Holy Spirit, take over the service for this our prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. We give a clap to the Lord. We welcome you on behalf of Canon to this Holy Communion service, page 35, our service books. Our ancestors all ate the same supernatural food and drank the same supernatural drink, for they drank from the same supernatural rock which followed them. And the rock was Jesus Christ. And the Lord be with you. The earth is the Lord's and all that is and all that is in it. Our help is in the name is in the name of the Lord. I was glad when they said to me, Praise the Lord. We sit on nail, page thirty seven. Item 4, Alternative 1, together. Almighty God, you bring to light things hidden in darkness and know the shadows of our hearts. Cleanse them and renew us by your spirit that we may walk in the light and glorify your name through Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Amen. The summary of the law, page 41. Our Lord Jesus Christ said the first and the great commandment is this that you shall love the Lord your God with all your strength, with all your mind, with all your heart and with all your soul and the second is this love your neighbor as yourself there is no other commandment greater than this together Amen, Lord have mercy write these laws in our hearts we pray we stand to glorify the Lord Item number nine, together, glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of the Father, Lord God, O Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. We will have the prayer for the day as we get into the ministry of the Word. Today is the third Sunday after Easter. Let us pray. Almighty Father, holy, 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 holy and revered, grant that our lives shall manifest faith, holiness, reverence for God, uh, uh, reverence to God, and, uh, and in and and humility to put the needs of others before our own, and thus lay for ourselves, lay for ourselves treasure in the heaven, indestructible and eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. We sit for the reading of the epistle, followed by the gospel. Good morning, church. Episode reading comes from the book of First John, chapter three, verse one onwards. First John, from chapter three, verse one onwards. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. 
and that what we are, the reason the world does not know us, is that it, does, it did not know him. Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure. Everyone who sins breaks the law. In fact, sin is lawlessness. But you know that he appeared so that he might take away our sins, and in him is no sin. No one who lives in sin, who lives in him, keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. Dear children, do not let, do not let anyone lead you astray. He who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. He who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. No one who is born of God will continue to sin, because God's seed remains in him. He cannot go on sinning because he has, not, he has been born of God. This is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the, the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not a child of God, nor is anyone who does not love his brother. This is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Do not be like Cain, who belonged to the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own actions were evil, and his brothers were righteous. Do not be surprised, my brothers, if the world hates you, we know that we are, we know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Anyone who does not love remains in death. Anyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has internal life in him. This is how we know what love is. Jesus laid down his, love, his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If anyone, if anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? And that's the word of God. We start to hear the good news of our salvation as it is written in the gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 15, beginning to read at verses 21 to verses 32. We start to hear the good news of our salvation as it is written from the gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 15, beginning to read at verses 21 to 32. A certain man from Cyrene, Simeon the father of Alexander and Lufus, were passing by on his way in from the country, and they forced him to carry the cloth. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. Then they offered him wine mixed with meat, but he did not take it and they crucified him. Dividing up his clothes, they cast rods to see what each would get. It was nine in the morning when they crucified him. The written notice on the charge against him led, the king of the Jews. They crucified two libels with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by halted insult at him, shaking their heads and saying, So you who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, come down from the cloth and save yourself. In the same way, the chief priest and the teachers of the law 
mocked him among themselves. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. Let this Messiah, this King of Israel, come down now from the cross so we may see and believe. Those who crucified with him also heaped insult, in, uh, insult on him. This is the gospel of Christ. where we start together with Christians throughout the centuries and throughout the world today and affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, Father the Almighty, Almighty maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We, we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the only Son of God, God eternally begotten, begotten of the Father, Father God from God, light, light from light, light true, God true God from true God, true begotten, begotten not made, made, of one being with the Father, Father through him all things we are made, for us and for salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified at a Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. May we have our seats or kneel for the litany. May the bishops and leaders of our churches have wisdom and speak with one voice. May the leaders of our country, Kenya, rule with righteousness. May justice be our shield and defender. May the country, Kenya, have peace and the people be blessed. May the flocks and the herds prosper and the fish abound in our lakes. May the field be fertile and the harvest plentiful. May we and our enemies turn towards peace. May the love of the Father touch the lonely, the bereaved, and the suffering. May the path of the world be saved of all dangers. Page 49, here are the ones of challenge and comfort. Our Savior says to all those who follow him, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever would save his life, will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake, will save it. Come to me, all of you who are tired of carrying your heavy loads, Jesus says to all of us, and he will give us rest. So all of us who repent of our sins, who love our neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, following the way of Jesus, all of us, let us come with faith to take this holy sacrament to strengthen us. But brothers and sisters, just before we do this, let us together reverently confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God, creator of all, you marvelously made us in your image, but we have corrupted ourselves, damaged your likeness by rejecting your love and hurting our neighbors. We have done wrong and ready to do right. We are sincerely sorry and heartily repent of our sins. Cleanse us and forgive us by the sacrifice of your Son. Remake us and read us by the Spirit, the Comforter. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Almighty God, whose steadfast love is as great as heavens are high above the earth, remove your sins from you as far as east is from the west, Strengthen your life in his kingdom and keep you upright to the last day through Jesus Christ, our merciful high priest. Amen. Thank you, Father, for forgiveness. We come to your table as your children, not presuming but assured, not trusting ourselves, and we hunger and thirst for righteousness. And he asks that our hearts will be satisfied with the body and blood of your son, Jesus Christ the righteous. I invite us to stand. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with your 
So we greet and shake and hug those near to us, the huggables and the non-huggables, the get shakes. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Amen. We are blessed this morning to have the family of our brother, the Reverend Canon Geoffrey Okapisi. Um, Geoffrey is the Diocesan Administrative Secretary in the Diocese of Nairobi, and he has brought us the entire family. I'm sure through his permission, I will allow Madam Zawadi to do this to the congregation. Yes. I'm, I'm sure the rest of the family have been carried away. They met uh, good friends who can show them the route. You know, we welcome you, AS, for, to be part of this uh, family of St. James. And uh, we are delighted that um, after our planning, it has come to pass. This must be a very blessed day. We had agreed with him that he's going to come here in May, but something heavenly happened, and he has come a month earlier. And so we really thank God for you and for your family. He's our preacher this morning, and so that we may prepare our hearts to hear the word of God. Let us just re be reminded of what we are supposed to be reminded. And I want to propose that we sing together hymn number 500. Two. 502, the message is the message of the cross. And so when we survey the wondrous cross, hymn 502. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my riches gain, I come but lost and poor contempt on all my Sisters, let us pray. Our Heavenly Dad, we come before you this morning. We come before you, oh God, to thank you so much that, Father, you have taken care of us throughout last night. And we thank you that, Lord God, you've given us an opportunity to be alive this morning and more so an opportunity to come to this your house for the purpose of us, Almighty God, taking time to worship you in your presence. 
and Father, to sit at your feet, Almighty God, and to listen to your word. Thank you, Lord, for giving us an opportunity to pour our hearts before you in worship. And right now, Lord God, as we, as I remain standing and as my brothers and my sisters sit down to listen from your word, we pray that, oh God, may you bless us and may your word cut across our hearts, making us to come to know you on a personal level. So we praise you and we honor you. For this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Kind let us take our seats. Praise the Lord. I want to start by thanking the Almighty God for giving me this opportunity to be here together with my family. I remember we were here last Sunday together with the bishop. We had a service of confirmation. And as the vicars rightly said, my brother Canon Chege, we had planned that I come here in May, but something cropped up that I had to come today. Praise the Lord. So I want to thank you so much, my brother, Venerable Canon Chege, for giving me an opportunity to come over here today uh, so that I can be able to bring the word of God in this service and then also later, I believe it is in the main service, the second service. My name is Geoffrey Okapisi, and by the grace of God, I serve in this diocese, as the vicar said, as the administrative secretary, and by the grace of God, I also serve as the bishop's chaplain or his pastor. I'm glad this morning that I, every time when I don't go out to the bishop, I am accompanied by my family. My family is here. I want to ask Zawadi once again to stand up and to wave to the congregation. Maybe some of you did not see her. That is my wife, uh, Zawadi Okapisi. And then we have our children here, Canon, with us. They have not gone to teens uh, 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 church. Uh, we have our firstborn daughter. They are seated behind there. All our children to stand up, please. God has blessed us with three children. Uh, we have our two daughters behind it there. Yes. Uh, Salome, lift up your hand. That is our firstborn. Uh, she's now in form three. And then our secondborn is Roskache. Roskache is in form two. And then uh, we have our son here, who is in grade five. He's called Philip. Uh, Philip was born at St. Philip's Jericho, and we named him St. Philip's. That is the time that I was serving there. That was the time that I was serving, I was serving there as the vicar. God blessed us with this baby boy. We really prayed to God, and God gave us Philip. Amen. Amen. And then we have our sister, uh, uh, Sophia, who is together with us in the house. She's our house manager. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. So that is my family. Every time when I'm not going out with the bishop, they accompany me. And we want to thank God that today we are all here worshiping the Lord as a family. I am born again. Christ is my personal savior. I got born again on the day of my confirmation. And that was at St. Stephen's Cathedral, Jogorod. On the, that day, I remember how I stood up and lifted up my hand and said, I want to give my life to Jesus. And that was a turning point to my life. And later, my mom, uh, who was widowed when we were young, took me to a boarding school. Uh, no, after my fa father passed on, my mom took me to a boarding school very far from this, from this city. I went to a place in West Pocot. I was taken to a mission school. Being the only son to my mom, they decided to take me there. But that again was the beginning of my ministerial journey. That was the beginning of my ministerial journey because it was a Catholic mission school. And being a Catholic mission school, I don't know what the father saw in me when I was in class five. And he made me to be an altar boy in a Catholic mission school. <laughs> so today I look back and I say, my ministerial journey began in that Catholic mission school when that father made me to be an altar boy up to when I left class eight. I was an altar boy. And today, serving at the altar, I look back and tell the Lord, thank you that indeed this journey began many, many years ago when I was in primary school. Praise the Lord. So receive greetings from the bishop. 
I was with him yesterday and I was reminded him that I'm coming here uh, and he told me as I come, I bring his greetings. So receive the bishop's greeting. Uh, please, Tafadali. Okay, salam za Baba Skofi. Thank you. Allow me to go straight to the word of God, my brothers and my sisters. And the vicar, the archdeacon, gave me a topic. And he told me that this month, St. James Buruburu, you are focusing on the message, the message of the cross. This month, you are focusing on the message of the cross. And when I was looking at it, the message on this brother called Simon of Cyrene came to me. So those of you who had not come when we were reading the gospel, our gospel reading was taken from Mark, or rather is taken from Mark chapter 15, beginning to read at verse 21 to 32. Mark chapter 16, beginning to read at verse 21. It is about this man called Simon of Cyrene. Now, I want to take you very quickly back to the history before I come to this particular text. The routine of the crucifixion did not alter. The Romans who started this did not alter anything. If you were arrested and you are taken before Pilate, or you are taken before those who uh, judged, or before a judge, you will find that the message of crucifixion, or rather the routine of crucifixion, was not altered. You have to go through all the stages as a thief. They allow me to use this as a, a thief in, in, in courts. So when the cross was prepared, the criminal had himself to carry the place to carry the cross to the place of execution. That criminal had to carry that cross, and he will carry that cross on his shoulder, going to the place of execution. And this criminal, he was to, uh, he was placed in the middle. This criminal was placed in the middle of hollow square of four soldiers. One soldier will be ahead carrying a board saying what you have been charged of. For Jesus, it was the king of the Jews. If you are a criminal, it is written in that board, you are a criminal. If you are a murderer, it is written there, you are a murderer. And therefore, the criminal will carry the cross on his shoulders and he will be joined by these four soldiers, as I said. And one soldier carrying the board in front written what you have been accused of. They took not the shortest but the long, longest route or way. They will take the longest way. Why? Because they will take you around the city, around the streets, around the avenues, so that all the people will be able to see that Okapisi is a murderer. And because he is a murderer or a killer, is going to be nailed on the cross. So the Roman soldiers will not alter anything. They will not change anything. They will make sure that you follow the longest route and by beside you there are these four soldiers and in front as I said one soldier carrying that board maybe that is written the king of the Jews and they will take the longest route. It was such a painful thing. The cross is so heavy. Talk of the scorching sun Talk of the heat, you can imagine what happened to our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. So they took the longest way and many people will come and look at you and some laugh at you, look at this uh, murderer, look at this person who is claiming for Jesus himself to be the king of the Jews. So the prisoner was stretched upon 
uh, it and his hands nailed uh, to it. And we are told that the feet of this person who has been accused were projected to a leg uh, to a ledger of wood called the saddle. So there will be a saddle behind that cross where the person who has been accused or is going to be crucified, his legs will lay there. Why? Because of his weight. So that when he is nailed on the cross, the nails will be driven through his hand here, wrist, and then this wrist, and then will be hung on the cross like that, and then that saddle will support the weight of that person's body. Praise the Lord. I'm just trying to take you through what our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ went through before I bring you to the message that I want to bring to you this morning. And therefore sometimes the prisoners hang for as long as a week as they are taken round the streets and around the avenues we are told that now the prisoner will hang there for maybe a week slowly dying. It was a slow death. Slowly dying of hunger and dying of thirst. And suffering sometimes to the point of actual madness. This person will be nailed there on the cross like Jesus was nailed there on the cross and that death was a slow death. And as I said, some of the people took maybe a week before they died. It was a slow death. And you will suffer, you will be thirsty, you will be hungry, and you will be left on your own. Everybody has gone. And you will be left there alone. And this suffering will also make a person who is being crucified sometimes to go mad. This person will be so much in pain, Analia, Anateseka is shedding tears, Akiangalia Chini, no one is left on his own. And sometimes somebody who's hung on that cross will become a mad person. Why? Because of the pain that this person will go through. Now, we are told that as they were going to this place called Golgotha, the place of the skull, we are told that Jesus, because he was also human, and he was being taken through those streets and through those avenues in the city, he fell down several times and he was unable to carry the cross because of the weight and because he was tired. And therefore they found somebody who was a pilgrim. And this person was called Simon the Syrian, Simon of Syrian. And Simon was a Jew from Africa. Siren is the today Libya. So because it was a Passover feast, we find that this Simon of Syrian was also going to Jerusalem, was going to the temple in Jerusalem to observe this very important day, the Passover. Praise the Lord. He was going to Jerusalem to join the other people in marking this very important day, the Passover. Imagine Okapisi leaving his house in the morning. You are going to a place where you are supposed to be together with the bishop for ministry. And then in a kutana na watu wa mebebana na mutu wa mebeba msalaba and a crowd following. And he was being whipped, he was being caned and akikwa kicked. Akipelekwa the place of the skull. And then this man called Simon of Syrian is forced to carry the cross. And the family that he has left behind in Libya, the family that he has left behind in Cyrene, thinks that our dad has gone for this Passover feast. Now he meets these people and because Jesus had fallen down several times, Simon Syrian is now forced by the soldiers to carry the cross. And he was forced to carry that cross by the soldiers. And he carried that cross. Going to Golgotha. I don't know why God gave me this message on Simon the Siren. From Siren. It is because this man was a person who observed what the Jews did. And this man was faithful. Now that it was a festive season, Passover, 
he was going to join the other Jews in marking this very important day only to meet with the people and he's forced to carry the cross. If it was you, what will you do? Simon Seren, because of the soldiers and the people, he was forced and he carried the cross. And he carried that cross. Simon of Seren did not love the soldiers. Definitely you not love the soldiers. You are an innocent person. You are a person who is going to worship God at the temple. And here you are forced to carry the cross. He did not love the soldiers. He did not love Jesus. Because as he was carrying that cross, he was like, look at these Roman soldiers. They are the ones who have subjected me to carry this heavy cross. They are the ones who have made me to suffer. And I'm, yet I am innocent. And I believe Simon of Seren also disliked Jesus because he was carrying and maybe was looking at Jesus. I am carrying this cross because of you. You are the one who is supposed to carry this cross. And he carried that cross to Golgotha. I hope you are following. Praise the Lord. And when he was going to Golgotha, he was like, can I reach there very, very fast so that I can drop this cross? I can let this cross go. And then from there, mimi ni chane mbuga, ni kimbia zangu, ni ende zangu. Mwadhani yes, arogo show. Praise the Lord. Yes, when you are carrying such a load behind on your back, on your shoulders, I beg your pardon, you are like, intafika sangab, I drop it, and then I go on my own way. Unless I am told, I will also be crucified. So, Simon of Syrian carried the cross for Jesus up to the place called Golgotha. Now, my brothers and my sisters, this is Simon uh, that is in Romans. If you go to Romans chapter 16, verse 13, we are also, we are also told about this Simon. He's called Simeon. And in Romans chapter 16, uh, verse 13, it talks of uh, uh, Simon. Simeon, I beg your pardon, Simeon. And this is Simeon, we are told that uh, was the father of Rufus and Alexander. And we are told that Rufus was an eminent person, was a person who was famous was a person who was respected. He was a distinguished person, rather. And we are told that when Paul was writing this letter to Romans, we are told that Ruf, uh, the mother of Rufus was so dear to Paul that dear took her as uh, his own mother. That is to tell us that Paul loved uh, Simon a lot. So this is Simon that is being, Simeon that is being talked about in Romans chapter 16 verse 33 is the same same Simeon, Simon, sorry, who carried the cross. Who carried the cross. So that it tells you that this Simon was from a family that feared the Lord. Praise the Lord. So why was I bringing this story about Simon of Cyrene? Because there are quite a number of things that I want us to learn from this particular text. Number one, what are we learning from this story as we focus on the message of the cross? Number one, we are learning that maybe his experience on the way to Golgotha bound or made him to be close to Jesus bond his heart forever for Jesus. And what does this tell us? This tells us that when we focus on the cross, that is where we receive our salvation. Can you tell your neighbor salvation? Simon of Syrian did not love the soldiers as I said, he did not love Jesus as he said. 
But that carrying of that cross made him to be very close to Jesus. And that being close to Jesus tells us about salvation. It is only here at the cross, and you are going to sing that song as you come, him as you come to the end of our service, at the cross, at the cross. It is only at the cross that you and me will receive salvation. And that is why in every church that we go in the world, even in this country, the trademark is the cross. I don't know whether your cross is here or your cross is this side. It is this side or it's on this side. It is this side or this side. I don't know. I have not checked this side. So every church that you go, there must be a cross. That is to remind us that it is in that, on that cross that we find the salvation. Jesus Christ died for you and died for me so that we can be able to receive the salvation. He was able to shed his precious blood on the cross because he wanted us to receive the salvation. Praise the Lord. So Simon of Siren carrying that cross to Golgotha, assisting Jesus to carry that cross to Golgotha, that cross has a meaning. It is that cross that you and me will be able to receive our salvation. Number two, carrying that cross made Simon of Siren to be a Christian. To be a Christian. That carrying of the cross by Simon of Siren made him to be a Christian. When you and me focus on the cross, we shall also be devoted Christians. Praise the Lord. And you become a devoted Christian who will serve the Lord wholeheartedly. And that is what we see in the life of Simon of Siren. After dropping that cross and Jesus was nailed and the cross was lifted, raised up and he was left there at uh, Golgotha. You find that that cross made this man called Simon of Siren to be a Christian. How I pray that even as we continue to focus on the message of the cross this month of April, that all of us will know that it is at this cross that we shall receive salvation. It is at this cross that you and me will be made Christians and Christians who are devoted. Christians who will be able to serve the Lord wholeheartedly. Number three, after carrying this cross and dropping it, this Simon of Siren was involved in mission. He was involved in mission in going to a place called Antioch. And they were able to open a church there to preach there. If he had not carried this cross, maybe Simon of Siren might not have become somebody who is passionate about mission. How I pray that this month, even as we focus on the message of the cross, may God help us and may you and me have a passion for mission. Just like Simon of Siren, after he left that place, he was involved in opening churches in Antioch. He was involved in going to Antioch to make sure that mission work goes on, or rather is carried out in that part of the world. Praise the Lord. Are you involved in mission? That is the message that I'm bringing to us this morning. The message of the cross. As you focus on the cross, the cross meaning salvation, cross making us to be Christians, cross making us to have a passion for mission, just like Simon of Siren. I pray that all of us gathered here this morning and those of us who are watching online that will be passionate about mission work. Praise the Lord. And number four, it reminds us that this Simon of Siren carrying this cross, it reminds us that it took a Passover pilgrim from Siren to his bitter resentment at the moment and was impressed or forced by or was impressed or forced by a nameless Roman officer to carry his cross for Jesus.
still on, under, still on mission. It took the hand of this man who was a pilgrim going for the Passover in Jerusalem to bring the message of the gospel. And that is which is being preached today. Are you in the comfort zone or are you also involved in mission work? If you are in the comfort zone, my brothers and my sisters, it's a time for us to wake up and to ask God to give us that passion, to make us to be passionate about mission, just like Simon of Siren, who was passionate about mission and was indeed able to go to Antioch and was able to change the lives of people even through the gospel of Christ. Praise the Lord. Number two, in that text, we learn about the two thugs who were, who were crucified with Jesus. The two thugs, one on the right and one on the left. What are we learning from this as far as the message of the cross is concerned? From the two thugs, what are we learning? We are learning that you can be very close to Jesus and yet very far from Jesus. Can I repeat? You can be very close to Jesus like the two thugs, yet you are very far from Jesus. One of them respected Jesus. One of them not respecting, acknowledged Jesus as Lord and told Jesus today, I pray that you will be together with me in paradise. And Jesus said, yes, you will be together with me in paradise. You might be coming to church every Sunday thinking that you are so close to this Jesus whose blood, precious blood was shed on the cross, on this cross, yet you are very far from Jesus. I pray as I come, as I come to the end of this message that may we be very close to Jesus. Let our relationship with Jesus be intimate. Let our relationship with Jesus be close. Praise the Lord. And the last one, as I come to the end of the message, this cross speaks of the love of God. Can you tell your neighbor the love of God? <laughs> Towards the end of that gospel, it talks about the two men who were crucified with Jesus. And this tells us about Jesus, a friend of sinners. When he was alive, he was still a friend of sinners. Even when he was on the cross, he was a friend of, of sinners. May God help us to be a friend of sinners. Praise the Lord. May God help us. When I was serving at St. Philip's Jericho, there is a place in Jericho called Kosovo. <laughs> I don't know whether you have heard. Where thugs are. I don't know how, what happens today. But I remember, my wife will bear me witness, I remember when I was the vicar St. Philip's, every Monday, because it was my off day, I used to go to Kosovo. And I would go in my t-shirt and in my jeans. And I will go and sit there with those thugs. And I will buy them soda and snacks and we shall eat, we eat together and we chat. Because some of them were in high school together with them. So, pasi, 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 tungejua tungejua kama wewe. So, in the process of interacting together with them, socializing together with them, some of them came to know the Lord as their personal savior. That is why I say Jesus, the message of the, on, of the cross is about what? Love. Let us love even those who are sinners. Let us love those even who are thugs. Jesus was nailed on the cross on the left was a thug, on the right was a thug. But he was able to associate it together with them. He was able to talk to them. And one of them on the cross got saved. Praise the Lord. The salvation that you are talking about, the message of the cross about salvation. The message of the cross about love. Please, don't say Jesus is mine and mine alone. Ask God to open your heart and to go out so that you can reach out to that neighbor who is not born again. You can reach out to that neighbor who does not go to church. That is the message of the cross that I'm bringing to you this day. Praise the Lord. And because this is a holy, this is a holy communion service, there is a bit that we usually say, all our problems... All our difficulties to the cross of Christ. It is at this place at the cross that all your problems will be rolled away. Praise the Lord. It is at this cross that all those who are sick, you will be able to receive your healing. 
It is at this cross that you will be able to receive your salvation. It is at this cross that you will be able to receive your healing, as I have said. And last Sunday, when I was here together with the bishop, the choir sang a very good hymn. And I remember I sang that with my family the other day when we had a devotion. I think it was three or four days ago. We sang the hymn, Jesus came to love, to heal, and to forgive. How do you start it? My wife, can you remind me? <laughs> As I come to the end of the message. Do you know that hymn? God sent his son. They called him Jesus. He came to love. He learned forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds my future. And life is worth a living just because he lives. He came to love. He came to heal and he came to forgive sins. May the Lord continue to love us. May the Lord continue to heal us. May the Lord continue to forgive our sins. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank God for the message of the cross. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 1, 18, that this is foolishness to those that are perishing, but power to those that are being saved. Amen. So we really want to thank God and continue asking each of ourselves that when people are being counted, of those that have carried the cross, starting from Simon of Siren, are you among the number? Uh, I want to say that um, we have been giving Holy Communion and people have been sanitizing. But then we discovered that when people are receiving sanitizer, uh, the, the sanitizer distributors have been very generous. So they give people sanitize, they sanitize, and just before you take the Holy Communion, um, my observation is that you still have a lot of it. And so we have moved to a different um, experience. We have wipes. So you will pick one, wipe. So you bring us clean hands. So don't worry about the person you shook hands at the time of peace. Have peace. They are wipes. Amen. Tell your neighbor, have peace. Sour, sour. Anyway, where I come from, Uchafu na uanga watu wawili. Madaktari na walimu na watoto wao. The rest are tukwangi na shida sana. So when we don't see us washing mangoes all the time, it's because of where we come from. Amen? So I want to invite us to stand. This is the time to give our offerings, to give our tithes, as we sing together hymn number 308. Uh, the praise and worship team definitely will be supporting us as we sing this song, hymn number 304. No, hymn number 308. I'm not ashamed to own my Lord, nor to defend his cross. It is our offering song, and those who are online will also be... Uh, giving us through Pebble 403 2369. I'm not ashamed to own my Lord, nor to defend his cross. Maintain the honor of his heart, the glory of his cross. And the cross of the cross where I found so the light and the bondage of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith 
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for these gifts that we have given out this morning with joy for reminding us of the message that we have and even for what we are able to do every day. We pray that you may bless the work of our hands, the Lord you may blotch over us in a very special way. We thank you for everything that has been given out in tithes and offerings, even for those that are watching us online. Lord, may you remember them and bless them. Bless all of us as a family and watch over us in a very special way. For we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I ask that we remain standing as we turn to our prayer books, page 51. We remain standing for thanksgiving and remembrance. Is the Father with us? Yes. Is Christ among us? Yes. Is the Spirit here? Yes. This is our God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We are His we are his people. We are redeemed. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and our to give you thanks and praise. Great Father, living God, supreme over the world, creator, provider, savior, and giver. From our wandering nomad, you created your family for burdened people. You raised up a leader for a confused nation. You chose a king for a rebellious crown. You sent your prophets in these last days. You have sent your son, your perfect image bringing your kingdom, revealing your will, dying, rising, reigning, remaking your people for yourself. And through him you have poured out your Holy Spirit, filling us with rain, filling us with light and life. Therefore, with angels, archangels, faithful ancestors, and all in heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever, praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God, God of power and might, might heaven and earth, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Almighty God, owner of all things, we thank you for giving up your only son to die on the cross for us, owe you everything. Pour your refreshing spirit on us as you remember him in the way he commanded through these gifts of your creation. And on the same night that he was betrayed, he took bread, and after he had given you thanks, he broke it. He gave to them, saying, Take it, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. Amen. His, His body, body was, was broken, broken for us. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, and after he had given you thanks, he gave to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We are brothers and sisters through his blood. We have died together, and rise together, and live together. Therefore, Heavenly Father, here as we celebrate this covenant, we join with the coming of our, of our Savior Jesus Christ. He died in our place, making a full atonement for the sins of the whole world, the perfect sacrifice once and for all. You accepted his offering by raising him from death and granting great honor at your right hand on high. Amen, Jesus is Lord. This is the feast of victory. Lamb who was slain has begun his reign. Hallelujah. We take our seats, and as Jesus taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on other cities in heaven. Give us today our dear bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. The cup of blessing which we bless. Brothers and sisters, draw near with faith. Draw, come with faith and receive. Christ is the host and we are discussed. Christ is arrived forever. We are because he is. Lamp of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sin of the world. Give us in peace. The body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for you, preserve your bodies and soul to eternal life. So please come, take, eat, and drink this in remembrance of Christ's body, blood and body was given for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. Hymn number 166. 
are being issued, we request those that are issuing to possibly follow the queue as it builds up so that everybody gets an opportunity to get the towel early enough and wipe and you flow to the front. I'm sure that is clear. So people should start streaming in so that we are able to go to the camps. And then, secondly, once you are given the, the Holy Communion, you will drop the cup in the green basins yourself. So you don't have to wait. Once you take it, you wake up graciously. We were reminded during the Holy Communion service that you wait for the third person so that you don't hit the other one. That would help. This change would help us so that we may serve the communion as soft, as fast and as swift. Okay, thank you.
Good morning, church. Okay, my name is Paul Inobo Tenyo. I'll be doing the notices this morning. We welcome you all to our service today. The Lord is in our midst, and our meeting is never in vain. Okay, if you are worshiping with us for the first time, kindly please raise up your hand. Any visitor with us today? Okay, let us... Uh, okay, we have uh, a visitor behind there. Kindly... Aisha uh, will attend to you. Just cut up your hand. Okay, thank you. Okay, last week's giving was as follows. I will just read the total giving. It was... 1,222,041 shillings. The pay bill number remains the same, 4032369. Kindly write the purpose, e.g., if it is tithes, thanksgiving, offering, others on the slot for account. The name appears automatically. Discipleship class. Vivian, the visitor is on this row. Okay, the, the, the discipleship class, New Believers, takes place every Sunday immediately after the second service at Jehovah Jireh Room. We nurture New Believers on how to grow spiritually. Use the discipleship and the Bible study. It is on Saturday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Parish AGM, please may pay attention on this. The parish AGM will be on 21st April 2024. All departmental leaders are requested to have their AGM must be held on before 14th April in consultation with the vicar. Departmental AGMs, Widow Fellowship AGM will be held today on 14th April immediately after, after the service. Praise and Worship AGM was held yesterday. I think that was on 13th April. Midweek service, the midweek when the service continues every Wednesday from 6 p.m. From Kama Desk, the office is open every Sunday after service to service to serve to serve all men. Karibuni sana. Those who would like to join Kama class of 2024 to pick their registration form at the church reception. BSF for men and children between 6 to 18 years is held at SK St. James Buruburu on Mondays 
from 6.30 p.m. All are welcome. Tea classes, tea classes are still on. You are invited to register at the reception. Rob's parents' meeting will be held 21st April 2024 at 2.30 p.m. after the second service. Audit account, audit account will be ready on Tuesday, 16th. Kindly, you can start picking the, the forms on the receptionist from Tuesday. Then we have fellowship next week. Then Canon Charles Chege Karyuki will be a Boroburu City Council. Then we have Reverend Susan Kivuti, Uhuru. Reverend Benson Kagunyu, Savannah Stroke Donholm Greenfield. Reverend Paul Oduor. Harambe, then we have Reverend Mark Otieno Umoja 2. Then we have Reverend Edward Kehanga Umoja 1. Being no any other notices, I wish you the wonderful and fruitful week. God bless you. I return the mic to the vicar. Mana Yesu anafanya nini? Kwetu sisi anafanya nini? Wako mimi anafanya nini? Page page 57 All our problems All our difficulties All the devils walk and all our hopes Christ the son of righteousness shine upon you and scatter the darkness from before your path and the blessings of God Almighty that of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you be with those that you love and care for be with those that you mingle with every day be with you in every day as you carry the cross, now and forevermore. Amen. 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 We are going to recess. Um, I want to invite um, my sister Patricia to pray for a cup of tea just before we recess. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you this morning for the way you have been with us since we started our services. Thank you, Jehovah Father, because you have given us spiritual food. And thank you for the cup of tea that you have given us this morning to partake together as a sign of fellowship. May you cleanse it, may you sanctify it with the blood of Jesus. We thank you even as we pay, pay for it today. May you go together with us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray and believe in one accord. Amen. Amen. I would ask praise and worship to lead us in singing as we recess. God bless you and have a blessed week. Praise and worship. Kufahamu Kuwa wewe ni mungu Usie shindwa Mataifa yote Yana kufahamu Kuwa wewe ni mungu Usie shindwa Usie shindwa Usie shindwa
Well, 